Showers and thunderstorms pushing across the area this afternoon, some of them with some gusty winds and of course heavy rainfall. This is our Buffalo Mountain camera located in Johnson City. It sits uh, up high above the city there and gives us a nice view of the area below and the uh, area near ETSU and the distance there you can see downtown to the right side of your screen. Check out the time lapse here from this camera and I want to point out all the heavy rainfall that fell there between around 5 o'clock. Look at the bottom fall out and then the storm clouds that developed there between 5 and 6. So very stormy weather this afternoon in Johnson City and also really all across the area. So showers and storms push through earlier. Now, right now, as we look towards the skies of Johnson City, what you're going to notice is a lot of dark skies in the distance. That's because the showers and storms have now pushed off towards the east and are kind of lingering over the mountains of North Carolina and Tennessee. Here's the latest radar, and you'll notice the cluster of storms here still across portions of Watauga County, Ash County. In fact, just a minute ago, we got a new warning. That's a flash flood warning for Watauga County. And that's going to go until around 915 tonight because of the heavy rain that they've seen and the impacts of all the heavy rain over the past hour or so. So kind of running off uh, Boone area, Boone Mall, known for some of the flooding that can occur there. Overnight temperatures dropping down the low 70s. I think our storm chances have diminished through the overnight. Can't run a stray shower, especially early on through the evening, but most of the area expected to stay dry. As we go into tomorrow afternoon, though, more showers and thunderstorms developing, and some of them, just like today, could be strong to severe. Strong thunderstorms can easily produce winds around 30 to 50 miles per hour with small hail and, of course, heavy rainfall. And I know 40 mile per hour winds, 50 mile per hour winds may not seem like much, but it's summertime, a lot of leaves on trees. And think of that kind of like a sailboat and the big sail, the leaves act as the fabric and it catches it and easily topples those trees. Of course, when the winds get stronger and severe storms uh, and the hail gets bigger as well, more problems occur. So tomorrow afternoon, I wouldn't be shocked to see one or two storms once again pop up with some gusty winds, maybe even a little bit of small hail and of course heavy rainfall. We'll monitor that for the afternoon time frame, starting off dry tomorrow morning, but notice by around lunchtime, a few showers developing. Our better storm chances coming between around 2 and 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. No real motion, no real organized structure to these storms. They're going to be what we call pole storms where they go up and then fall down. And as they fall down, they'll bring some gusty winds with them. Temperatures tonight dropping down to around 70 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Temperatures tomorrow heading up once again into the low 90s, 91 to 93 across much of the region. Another hot and humid day, and it's not just going to be the heat, but the humidity that you will feel. I was outside doing a little yard work today, and really after about 10 minutes, you were sweating pretty good. Yeah, it feels like temperatures, that's going to be the big story as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Notice how they climbed around 95 and 97 in a few areas, could even hit 100 for feels like temperatures as we go into the middle to late part of the afternoon. We have so far seen six days of temperatures above 90. Last year in September, we saw nine days of temperatures above 90. And look at the extended forecast. We could tie that record there going up to uh, Wednesday at 91 or at least break last year's trend. Not so much a record, uh, but at least break last year's uh, stretch there. At 89 on Thursday, hey, we could even get a degree or two hotter and uh, add another day there. But overall, very mild week, above average, chances for some showers and storms. Make sure you download our StormTrack 5 mobile app so you can track the storms as they're moving into your area.